Yeah, good morning. The Chicago FOP Lodge 7 represents about 17,000 men and women serving in the Chicago area. While many of the members have already cast their ballots in the FOP election, those who did not had the opportunity to come out today and they can still continue to vote until about noon. Now, current FOP President John Catanzaro Jr., a former Chicago Police Department officer, has held the seat as president since 2020. He's being challenged by 24 year old veteran of CPD, Detective Bob Barr. Bartlett. When Catanzaro was elected in 2020, he says it was a priority to get the contract done, securing a raise for officers during his first term. Still, Catanzaro has faced criticism about controversial comments he's made, including those regarding the attack on the U.S. Capitol, as well as strained relationships he has with some city leaders, including Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Bartlett, who is hoping to unseat Catanzaro, says he hopes to build relationships and push for mental health resources and more support for officers if elected. Now, we spoke with both men about some of their priorities and the weight that they feel that this race holds. Working conditions specifically, you know, the riots were a pretty good indication. We want to build momentum and, you know, tragically, Officer Vasquez Lasso getting murdered the other day is, is a pretty good reason why we need to keep getting engaged politically. And we want to keep building this political arm of this organization stronger and stronger. What happens not only with this race, but with the mayoral race is going to set the tone for this city and the police department. And what's going to be the policing in this city? We're looking for a better tomorrow, hopefully, that with a better mayor and a police department that can actually go out there and fight and fight crime and protect our citizens. Both candidates tell us they're both feeling confident that they will be the one members vote in as the FOP president to serve for the next three years. Other positions on the ballot include sergeant at arms, treasurer, and trustee, where 17 people will be selected. Ballots in the FOP election will be counted today, and we're told that those results are expected at some point this afternoon or evening. Reporting live in the West Loop, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Hi, Courtney. Also in the news.